Ladies and gentlemen, this is, Let's go. this is not a guy that we talk to all the time. He's a matchmaker for top rank. He's been, how many decades, Bruce Trampler? Uh, 35 years. Thir only 35 years, my uh, friend? How many year decades is that? Uh, I'm, I'm going to say you're working on four decades in the sport. Uh -huh. We, you and me, here in the Madison Square Garden Theater, I'm shooting for Fight Hub, uh, I, we saw a master class. To me, it looked like easy work. Lomachenko was simply dazzling from the start. Rick Gondio did not come out for round seven. I ask you, did you think it would look like that? Such a masterful performance. He really was masterful, and not to take away from Rigondo, he's a terrific fighter also, but Lomachenko was just younger, fresher, hit harder, and he was the better man tonight. He was the better man tonight. We saw Agus Klamis leaving the ring, Bruce, and I said, and you said, you got a problem, Agus. Your problem is, who are you going to find to fight your kid? Any suggestions? I don't. Do, do I mean, you have any ideas, no, man? No, but Rigondeaux's the kind of guy he'll fight anybody. If there's nobody left at 130 for him, he may eventually. Or he might go to 135 go. quicker than Bob said. Yes. Bob said by the end of next year, but if 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 there's no one at 130 now, we might have to just go up. I called him the most unbeatable fighter in boxing on Randy and Jerry's show yesterday. He did nothing today to make me look foolish. No, he, he uh, lived up to your assessment of him, and he's he's really a terrific fighter. So we have no ideas for him next. We have to scour 130 and maybe 135 to find a foe so. for Lomachenko. I think so, yeah. And last question, historically, who does he compare to? You've seen a lot of guys in a lot of decades, Bruce Trampler. Boy, that's a good question. He... Uh, he reminds me of a left-handed uh, Alexis Arguello. He's not tall like Arguello, but he has the same seek-and-destroy mentality. Lomachenko's going after you, he's trying to hurt you, he's trying to make you quit. And you gotta pay a big price to fight him. And he got like a little Bruce Lee or something in him with yeah. the movement. A little bit strange, a little bit fabulous. Thank you, Bruce Trampler.